That's all. That's all I did. And of course, I kept them in college. And then my slide self sufficiency increased from 73 to 94. And my staple sufficiency is probably 100 because I'm now the second biggest producer of kamote. Because kamote is, le is less susceptible to climate change. And who's number one? <laughs> Pampanga. Oh my God. And then, of course, I got all these awards which I cannot eat. Next. <laughs> Next, next, next. I just, I don't wanna, these are only the proofs. Next, 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 next. That's my forest cover. Next, next. From seven to eight to four, next, 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 next. These are just the proofs, next. These are the empirical evidence, next. And of course, I've been able to integrate the RRTC into the educational curriculum. We start them very early. Next. It's always there, next. And uh, <laughs> this is my classmate. And we've achieved most of our MDGs ahead. And the only one I have not achieved is number seven. Household with access to sanitary toilets. I don't know why. I've been asking, was this guy, this DOH, I've been asking you before to give me more toilets. But I don't know why DOH cannot give me. So at least I have a very rich river system. Next. <laughs> Next. Is that my MDG? Box. I'm very proud of this because I really put my heart into it, believing that the national government will incentivize it. You know what I got for it? Nothing. Not even an award. <laughs> Which I the proof of the pudding is in the eating. It's not how important is the MDG for you. Nothing. That's why you can keep doing all these things with no goal. So you can be the expert in the best thing that means nothing. So, I mean, these MDGs, I talked to you, I said, I forgot this. He's my, uh, I learned a lot from him, but uh, you see, you, you never gave me anything for achieving this, except a pat on the back. As you can see here, it's, I'm so proud. This is probably the proudest thing I've done. Next, 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 next. Next, next, next. And back, this is what I learned from me. Uh, because to achieve zero casualty, so nobody dies because they have to go to the hospital. So everybody, you're free to go to the hospital when there's a disaster. Everything free. So there's no excuse not to go to the hospital. So because of that, we made it really free. I think at least excess. We have all the field help, but still they have to pay something. So even if it's a private hospital, we made sure that they will pay nothing to get into the hospital. Next. Kung gusto mo talaga yung gagawa mo eh. Ang, ang, ang usapan mo dito, gusto nyo ba talaga? Next. Next. Oh, this is the benefit I get from being. Next. 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 <coughs> um, Motor Relocation Center, I call it the World Bank, based on their big study, and also Oxford University. The secret, very little secret, I land back. So it's cheap. Two, I gave it to them to build. So it's beneficial to the procurement. I didn't care. Will you steal on your own house? I don't think so. I mean, just to drink and, you know, gamble. Back, back, back. <coughs> okay, lang again. And number three, all of them are within 20 minutes from their previous source of livelihood. That's the key. From an economic perspective, just make sure, especially of those of you who are in Yolanda, because once they're 20 minutes virtually, they're just there. Yung natatricycle ba? Basta natatricycle po ang pinagpuntahan, hindi nyo kailangan palagay ng kanin, hindi nyo kailangan mag-build sa slope na napakamahal. Kahit sa'yo sabihin natin na hindi naganda yung mga LGUs, pero sinasabihin ko sa'yo, siguro, anyway, next. 
<laughs> may modern evacuation centers, o oh, huwag niyo pong gagayahin, napakamahal. Gawa-gawa po yan, may food taster po yan. Yan po ang sugo ng Japan. Ito, galing po sa Espanya, I have six of them. Next. So where are they next? Next. So they're centrally located. <coughs> and of course, I have 11 major missions. Kami lang po ang nag ano. Gastos, wala ko kami hinihan. At doon po kami nak... Alam mo, simula na ginawa ko to, hindi na ko kami binibisita ng bagyo. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> nga. Tumulong, tumulong ka lang ng tumulong. Ang laki ng balik. Siguro ang gasos ko dito eh, kasi mas nakatipid ako eh. Dahil na, solid na solid po yung aking, ano, yung uh, DRMF. The most sacred fund in my provincial budget is the uh, calamity fund. It's so sacred. I declare that it is the most sacred. If you steal from me to go to hell, directly. Yeah, yes. So the best you see is to help others. It's there, so you can help others. Simula nung ginamit namin, lumabas kami. Saan ba kami pumunta? Yun, sa Indorino, Typhoon Trap. Nagbinamigay kami ng tubig. Alam ba yung ito? Yung pinaka doon kami sa, sa Yolanda. Nakita mo yung mga pagkalalaki mga kano, namimigay ng tubig. Ha? Tapos, doon pa nagpapapila, pagkalalaki ng masin. Ayun, parang tatanga naman ang image na to. Kaya samantala kami diretsa doon sa loob. We were able to give out 1.4 million liters. You know, sabi ni sabi sa newspaper kasi, hindi nila mga, mga papasok. Then, walang, ano, walang ganito. Aba, nung gabi, nandun ako kami, 8, 2 o'clock in the morning, we were there. I was able to assemble because yan ay kasama na sa muscle memory namin yan. Kung baga sa ano, ginawa na namin career. So, pagka ano, di naman kami tinamaan, automatic alas 2, yeah. ang diset kami pumunta. Automatic po, nandun lahat. CSOs, PNRC, PRC pala, retro, etc. Dala kami sakat! Yung pet. Anyway, so anong sinasabi ko doon na, kaya naman eh. Next. Siyempre, may dalawang batas, yung Republic Act 10121, virtually copied what Alba is doing. Just copy it. You don't need this conference. Hindi, <laughs> 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 sundin nyo lang po. O, tulungan nyo po ang mga ma ma gawa. Kasi marami namin tinulungan. Sana wala mga taga dito yung pamba. Yung pampanga, nung tinulungan namin yung dating pare, hanggang ngayon buhay. Yung pangasin ang magaling turuan. Um, sino pa magaling turo ang Pampanga, Pangasinan? Yung iba, may natunungan yata kami katorsin, hindi ko na isa-isay. Pag alis namin, alis din. <laughs> e pabalik-balik daw kami, ginasusan pa kami ng Oxfam, ginasusan pa kami ng DIZ. Yan, yeah, dami ko din din gumagasos sa amin, ma-replicate. Na-replicate lang po yung gastos. <laughs> hindi kami. Next. <laughs> so, next we have trained seven countries, Laos, Myanmar, Kampucha, Vietnam, Kenya, Nigeria, and Timor Leste. I'm putting it there. Why? Because yeah, I've, I've been the whole world. I'm the co chair for the development. Game. I was voted by 184 countries to become the chairman of the Green Climate Fund. And people said, you know, sometimes it's really moral ascendancy. Nakikita na gingit ngit ng mata mo, na approve na lang basta yung mga gusto na. Talaga, makikita na, kasi chairman ka, hindi ka pwede magdaldal eh. Pero makikita na ngingit-ngit na ako, eh, nung isang linggo sa Oslo, they walk out ako. Kasi ayaw nila magsipagbayan. Sabi ko, ano yun yan ito? Duty nyo yan. Kayo nag-cost nito. Wala kami kaalam-alam niya. You're making 30, your development cost is 30% higher because of what, you, what you've done before. You better pay for it. You used up the emission space reserved for us. You're also entitled. You, do you know that if you develop through carbon, it's 30% cheaper. In fact, there, there's direct correlation on carbon per capita consumption in development. Virtually, there's one-to-one -one correspondence. The more carbon you use, the more development you get. But that doesn't mean to say it has to go on. Anyway, next. Siyempre, lagi nandiyan ang boss ko. Next. Next. Yan po yung mga tumutulong sa amin. Okay. Tapos nandiyan ang MO eh. 
Next, ba yaman na yan? Yan pinaka-award ko, pinaka-una. Alam mo na, may yata yun. Nauna pa yung abroad na award sa akin kaysa dito. Alam mo ba yun? <laughs> Nasyak talaga ako. Ako, kung tao sa life, ako pinag-a-award na ako ng UNISDR. Pero dito sa atin, ayaw ko ba? It took them a long time to decide. <laughs> Hindi ako, ha? Nung alba, ha? Next. Pero after that, ako bumuhos. Nahiya naman ata. <laughs> Now, this is uh, the award that I'm, so, I'm, uh, I'm proud of because this is the best province. It is for three-year performance based basically on COA. At saka ano, ang ayaw ko lang dito, at, at least for to ano, uh, incentivizing inputs, not output. So, ewan ko ba lahat ng award dito sa Pilipinas, puro tungkol sa input. Lalo ng DOH, ang hilig-hilig magbigay pag input. Pag output, wala. Anyway, may DOH ba dito? Ah, I mean, ayun ako, inis ako sa inyo. Next. So, gagayahin na naman kami. Gagastos yata ang ang AC ng $84 million dollars just to replicate and buy in 10 provinces. I nominated some who I felt were susceptible to uh, to replication. Uh, I think Katanduanes, again, Pangasinan. So, tulungan na lang yung mga dati. No? Siyempre, marami ako nahingi. Next. So, yun ang nangyari. Pero ito yung problema. Next. Next. Diba? Next. Next. Huwag na yung isang yan. Ito ang albay. Next. Yan po ang aking populasyon, household. May apat ang isla ako. Next. Pag titignan mo lahat ng climbing, lahat ng mga malalakas sa bagyo, nandito halos sa Bicol. At kami ang nakausling pa ganun. Ewan mo ba, pag tinignan mo yung mapa, kami ang nakausling. Kung dapat yung ano eh, yung birak eh. Pero ewan ko bakit hindi. Pero ngayon din na kami. Next. So, anong pinakaunang step? Siyempre, kaya alam mo, you know your risk. Uh, halos lahat ng risk nasa akin. Kaya tinatawag kami yung Vatican of Disasters. Kasi hindi mo talaga magagaya. magagaya. Unless it takes 94 billion to build a new Mayong Bukino and you're not sure whether it will explode. <laughs> talaga. Oh, next. So, but those are the thematics, but every year we do it, we negotiate this with our local government chief executives. O, oh, taga-tiwi ka, pag may flooding, so, papatay ko ang, uh, ano ba yan? P-box at saka ang MGB at ang pag So, ano bang ano nyo this year? View, forecast, pang stock market. No? So, ano yung, ano, ano yung mga industry sectors? So, isa say namin, ano yung mga stocks? So, ano yung stock bibiliin ko sa TV? Hoy! TV! In a perverse manner, ha? Not perverse, ha? Ikaw, ha? This is sitting barangay. Pinag-aralan na natin yan. Tulong ng info pati at ng aboy teeth. Yan. This is yet, eh. So, ninegosyate na namin. Hindi naman lahat yan sa purok lang na pwede ano, kung saan pwede may mamatay. Hindi ko na pinapapirma doon, pinapapirma ko, kaso ang hirap-hirap, inaabot ako isang taon. By the time naman pumirma lahat, na, nangangako po ako na pag sinabi ni Gov na mag-evacuate, mag-evacuate ako, makakakuha ko na limang kilong bigas. <laughs> o yan naman talaga ang ano namin eh. Sinasabi, sigurado ko ba na ang ginagawa ng albay masus maulit? Pero oo, oh, kasi institution mo, may maraming institusyon. Pa, paano kung hindi lagyan ng tao yung institusyon? Kako na, yung institusyon na sa puso ng tao. Kasi kako, pag pumunta yung evacuation center, alam nila may limang kilong bigas doon nag-aantay sa kanya. Hindi sa bribe yun ha, pero sinasabi ko right mo yun. Kailangan kang tulungan dahil dinistorbo ko buhay mo. Pagkainit-init, wala, wala naman sa mga ng panahon, biglang nagpapakaan, siksik ang kado, ni walang TV, hindi mo makita yung legal way, tapos nandun ka. <laughs> oh, hindi ka pa makakapagsek. Ay nako, uh, the, the, how do you call that? The apocryphal evidence. No, 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 no need. Next. 
So I determine the factor ranking, you know, you give you, I'll give you an example in EGT. Why are we number one in tsunami? Because that's where we're number one. And number one in rainfall increase. Why? Because this is, the name is risk, not hazard. A hazard only becomes a risk once it's owned. Pag may may hari. So, ito, kasi kami may tao, dito sa, sa Pacific Ocean, nandun ni Gaspi, Tabaco, Iwi, lahat ang malalaki po nandun. 600,000 yan tayo, nakikipag-embrace sa Pacific, sa, sa Pacific po. Uh, Isabel, Quezon, ay, Isabella, uh, no, mga walang tao naman doon sa ano nila eh, sa tabi ng dagat, nasa loob sila eh. Kasi nandun sila nagpa-planting, planting, kasi matal. Kami, ang may tao, so ito may risk kasi may exposed na population. Anyway, next. Kaya sa tsunami, number one kami. Okay. So, yung po ang outcome, eto yung problema, ano ginawa namin? Next. First, make it a goal, the rest follows. Simply, <laughs> make it a goal, the rest follows. But have a goal naman. Sabi ng mga Jesuit, have a holy desire. Yung sa nakakita ng desire na holy. Kasi naman sa desire, laging sexual desire. Pero pag ninaagay mo ng holy, sabi ko ng mga Jesuit, ah, ayoko na. And then, make policies. Next. Give it a budget. Next. Execute programs. Next. Build institutions. Then, nurture partnerships. Kasi, kailangan da lagi may taga ganun sa amin. Uy, ang galing na ginagawa mo. May taga community, hindi mo ginagawa. So, kailangan namin yun. Yun ang pinakatrabaho nyo. Kasi alam mo naman, ang konti-konti yung magbigay ng pera eh. <laughs> Kasi ang pera nandun eh. Pero kaya kinang pera nandun sa mga LDUs, kailangan putkutin nyo lang eh. Sabayan nyo lang, mukha ko susabihin ko sa inyo. Ano, yan ninyo. Award kayo ng award. Sabi ko nga sa, saan ba ito? Ito, 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 ito. ito. Ito ba yung sinasabihin ko lagi na garilaw? Nung bigay ka ng best health practices award, eh hindi yung practice, health outcome. Anyway, next. <laughs> next, 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 next. Yan po yung ang tawag big words. Ito po yung ginawa. Ay, big words, what I mean in real terms. Next, next, next. Okay? So, preba, preba lang yan. Na, hindi puro big words. Ano ba yung, what does it mean in real? So, pag sinabi ko may MDG goal, okay, what does it mean? Nasa ordinance po yan. Next. So first, we want, I think it's very clear, it's vision. What's up my vision? My vision is to become California in 30 years. <laughs> really. Uh, I want to be like a bigger version of Sidiman, of, uh, I think, Dumaguete. Low rise, low energy intensity, a lot of rich agriculture, a uh, lot of education, research institutions. That's my kind of albani. So it's very green. I made sure that people keep planting trees not planting babies. Uh, so, live a better living, better living, bea. So, ano ba yung ultimate goal namin? Dan the love ultimate goal, ang lagi ko sinasabi sa akin, man. number one, life expectancy. Pag sinuyo mo po lahat yan, gumawa mo yan ng multivariate regression, hindi linear, multivariate regression. Ang narabas niya, that the best proof of social prosperity is life expectancy. Wala na pong iba. So sabi ko, ito ang pinagagawin natin. Kung bakit zero casualty? Kasi yung namamatay, ang, pag, ang pagkumpit po ng life expectancy, yung average age ng mga namatay this year. Life expectancy mo yan. So, pag namatay sa'yo, puro bata dahil sa disaster. Mga bata dahil sa IMR, infant mortality. Mga bata, below 42. Dahil yung mga nanay na pwede pa mga anak. Aba, mapagsak. Diba? Mapagsak. So, yung numero very important. Kung mayroong una kosa sa AIM na tinuturo, eto pinakauna kosa ko, life expectancy. Kaso din ang taga ng DOH. Sabi ni Arbosa, dagdag mo to. Change in height. Yes. I think I'm looking for the empirical evidence that change in height. And I'm looking really for the science of it because bakit si ka lang ni Dr. Ted. Pero mukhang mo totoo, Sa siyang kasi tayo yung pinakapandak. Hindi ko lang bakit. Akala ko ba? Paano na tayo na genetically enhanced tayo ng mga 
<laughs> Mga Espanyol, 400 years. Wala ba nangyari sa kumbento? <laughs> Pinalit tayo ng, ano, ng mga hapo, ng, ano, ng mga kano. Tapos yun, OFW, all over Europe. Kung saan ako nang galing. Wala nangyari sa hype. Napaka-resistant ba natin ito? Ano? To gene genetic engineering. <laughs> Next. So, the title of almost all of it will be Resources for This is the permanent office, Paapsimo. Where, the, where do we get money for it? Because there's money. If you use it properly, there's enough money. I don't need CNDR. I don't need CNDR. Well, unless CNDR wants to pay for the use of all our competencies. Lugi kami sa inyo, excuse me. Kahit sa NO. Next. Next, there's a whole building, total building, we gave it. Uh, salamat sa mga Italiano. Then, CIRCA, this is for climate office. This is only for our research. Where do we get money? Next. Then we have institutionalized training. Now we get money from OCD and also from us. Next. Under, under section 9, balik mo nga Back. Section 9. Section 9, small letter I, sabi, dapat magtayo ng training institute ang OCD. Para mas mabilis, sabi ng OCD, ikaw na institute. Itapos, so we're doing the job for them. Pinibigyan na lang kami ng pera. So, nakatrain na kami ng 7, ano, ewan ko lang kung ano, pag uwi nila sa kanila, nakita lang nila may bukini, na, na, na ano, <laughs> Naalala nila, at saka kagsawa. Next. <coughs> Next. Next. So, institutionalized, mawa, mapapalitan ito. Wala ng AMD. Ginawa ko AMD Geo kasi ang hit-sweet ako. <laughs> Mayor and day, glory and office. Ito ang bahay, millennium development goals, office. <laughs> so, alam mo, may lang tao na rin yan. Next. May pera yan, may sariling head of office, so he's from UP. Alam mo, kung may sikreto ko siguro, dahil napapaligiran po ako ng mga staff na galing UP. Ateneo, Lasal, my senior staff are really something else. I pay them well. I give 14 months pay, and I give them 50,000 cash bonus every year. Because if you give them peanuts, you, give them, you get monkeys. <laughs> no, really. Sometimes you just have to incentivize the hiring of the best that you can. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm one of the best stuff. Next. Next. Lapit na to. Resources for institutionalized training. Salamat po sa mga Kastila. May sariling building din yan. Binibigyan din ang OCD. Institutionalized external missions. System of by OCD 5. Next. Ito po yung... I'm so proud. Balik-balik. Tingnan nyo ito yung Operation of Public Health Operations. Pagdating mo namin, nung binigay sa amin ng DOH, yung pagpatakbo po nung kanilang yung hospital po, nung medical hospital. Kasi yung mga nurse, wala. Yung doktor, siyempre. So kami nagpatakbo. Pagdating namin doon ng Merkulis, November 9, kami na po nag-operate. Pero sa liso, ewan ko ba itong mga newspaper, Gusto gusto doon sa mga kano at mga ano. Kami ni, hindi mo na kami na-mention na yung unang nagpanganak doon kami. Unang namigay po ng gamot doon kami. Unang consultation kami. Wala lahat yan! Kasi kayo wala! Sa totoo lang, mas tayo ng local government kasi nandun kami. Alam na namin yan. Alam na namin yan. Tutulungan nyo lang kami ng konti. Pangasuli na lang, okay na. Tingnan. Operation of Hospital in Katil, Operation of Public Office in Lana, next. Kami po tumutunod sa kanila. In fact, doon, yung itong ano, ewan ko kung ito galing pa to, yung kanilang speed, meron silang speed eh, di ba? Sinyo yun, yung information sa disaster. Yung DOH, hindi ginagamit, kami lang gumagamit, ewan ko ba? So the proof of the pudding is in the eating, next. As you can see here, education from 1%, I made it 20 Health from 14 to 24. And then of course, CCADRR from 5 and made it to 11. 
Nasa footprint si Indasan dyan. Pwede ka mag-cheat ka na ang galing-galing mo, pero pinigyan mo ba ng pera? Next. So, tawin namin itong pera. 9%, 11% na yan, 2011 yan. Next. Hindi ko ito tinatanggal para may comparison. Next. Next. Siyempre, yung gagawin ng gastos ko ng 50, nakakuha ng Italian 84 from abroad. Magaling ako maghanap eh. 50, nagiging 894. Sa SSS lang nangyayari yan, di ba mo? <laughs> Nung binenta mo, ano? Ang Banco de Ordo. <laughs> so, where do we use the money? Definitely one, know your risk. Next. Yan po, risk mapping. Ano ah, ang aming tutulong sa'yo? Ewan ko kung mayroon pang problema sa risk mapping. Yan, alos ginawa ng ano yan. Ginawa ng uh, New test, Old Testament ng gobyerno, ng national government. Libre pati. Tapos, gagamitin mo na. Pag may risk map pa na, gawin mo na comprehensive land use. Dito kumukulang. Itong transition na to. Sa amin, sa alba, ginagawa ko yan. Naka-unsi na yata kami. 18 na kasubmit, 11. Yung isa, pabalik-balik, kasi makukulit talaga mga mayors. Gusto nila yung paborito na ng lupa eh. Anyway, kaya ba, balik ko lang. Pero, halos lahat tapos na mga malilita. Next. Next. So, yan po, ang pasisimpleng ko, ano meaning na ang ginagawa namin, adaptation is all about capacity building. DR is all about capacity building. Yung hazard, like may volcano, wala kang magagawa. Ayaw umalis. <laughs> yung exposure, kaya yan. Management, population growth yan. Iiwas mo pati. Ang ano ibig sabihin exposure. Kasi kung nagparami ako ng parami ng bata, di mas maraming pwede mamatay. Sa MMR, IMR, pati sa disaster. Ano na mamatay pag disaster? Mga bata. Kasi wala pala bang laban. Wala namang physical, muscular. Walang physical memory. So, Bottom line, capacity. Ang lawak-lawak nung nangyari sa ano, sa Australia, na baha for one week, ang nandito, may isa walang namatay. May hazard, may exposure, pero may capacity. Therefore, ang casualty, zero. Next. Yung mga hazard map, siguro may sawa na ako sa hazard map, pero ngayon talaga Biblia yan. Pagdating na ng pangyari, yun ang mga importante. Next, next. May alam yun isang example kasi mag-i-APEC mag kami. Back, 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 back. Ito ang pinakita ko sa APEC, yung pinakawin na. Hanggat ah, ang mga laba po ng mayon, hindi ba lumalampas doon sa pulang yun? That's called the 6 kilometer permanent danger zone. It is based on 600 years of study. No, available pa po. Nag-iwan naman ng konti ang mga Kastila. <laughs> Yan po. Kaya hanggang, eh, eh, yung airport po namin nasa 17 kilometers away from my volcano. Anyway, next. Next. Yan po, galing po yun sa MO. Next. 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 So, ito po yung namin. Babalik tayo na yata namin. Yan po, ang lahar hazard map. Next. Nagpakit dito ang MO Christian A. Tapos nilagyan na nilang ano, tapos nilagyan sa ilalim. So, ang itim, dapat wala ka dyan. Ibig sabihin niyan, relocate. Yung pula, meaning to say niyan, itrain, evacuate. Yung yellow, uh, cool ka lang. Yeah. Bibit-bitin na lang kita kung kailan nang ba. So, relocation, evacuation, alertness. Sandali lang yan. Ngayon, babalik na rin ko na. Unahin ko na thematic, saksaka ko na sa taas na ng Google. Babalita rin mo namin yung lista. Next. Kaya kaya mo yan. Pinapapakyot. Tapos, kaya may tao. Yun, nakita niyo taong tao nung pinag-ihirapan ko yung dalawang barangay bawat araw. Ha! Katawag ng mga leader. Puro ka. Yan. Mapa. Mapa. O sa'yo, so, drawing mo na. O, yan. Huwag kang dadaan dyan. Dyan, dyan, dyan. Kasi nandyan ang bahay ng na kulo pa dida ng asawa mo. Yan, huwag ka na lang yan. Huwag ka mag-evacuate dyan. Baka yun ang risk mo. Dito, dito, sa puno ng sagi, pagkutok ng kwitis, 
tumakbo ka dyan, andyan ako, nagaantay sa'yo. <laughs> There's nothing mystical about what I'm doing. I just do it. Nothing mystical. Nothing mysterious. Like, it's so practical. So, I think the, the secret of Albay, in terms of Sir Kasha, is continuous community preparation. Sila talaga. Kasi alam nila, ayan, ah, yung bahay mo dyan, alam mo na yan, ha? Pag sinabi kong earthquake, damay ka, layas dyan. Pag sinabi kong uh, landslide, huwag ka na layas, hindi ka inwerto dyan. Pag sinabi kong baha, hindi ka rin inwerto dyan. Alam nila yan, house to house. Kaya ba? Susunod ang sinu naman. Sa dami ng internet. Ito nga, o. Oh. Lati na meron ganito. Salamat sa smart. <laughs> Salamat. Uy, may hukar mo sa akin, ha? Sa apps namin may pindol. Lahat kami, I think, may mga 30,000 na yata nag-download ng pindol. This is provincial information on disaster. So, it gives you... Wala na ba? Nothing mystical. Libre. So, pag may gusto akong sabihin, okay siya. Oh. Yan. Next. Kaso, hindi mo ito, hindi naman ito nagsasalita. Ito dapat alam niya kung anong sinasabi namin. Para manit niya, kailangan pa rin ng training or skills training. Observation-based skills training. Next. So, Geostrategic intervention. Alam mo na katiwang-wang na dyan. Alam mo na mamamatay. Yung palalayasan. So, yung nasa tabi ng mayon, ng mga river banks, 10,076 nilagas ko. Yan. Yung mga itim-itim na yan, may lahat yan. Next. Yan. Inakyat ko. Ang um, disaster is reduction without disaster is equal development. Simple. Eh, si Madam Gloria, yung mabait sa akin yun eh. So, binigyan pa ako ng airport. Doon ko nilagay lahat ng mga resettlement project. Alam mo, nung tapos ko nilagay, naku, parang mga mga masun na tubuan. Commercial center, simbahan, private health facilities. Nagsasaray na where demand is, supply will come. Kaya. Next. Next. Ayan, ang gaganda ko. Sila ang gumawa eh. Pag ako gumawa yun, sila yung tsaka yan, di ba? <laughs> Malay ko, yung mga architecto. Then, of course, you have to continuously drill them. After training, drill. Yun ang siguro kailangan sa Pilipinas talaga. Siguro yan, I am inviting this group to spend more, more in drilling, in getting people to dream. Katulad yan, naglalagay dito sa taas. Nasa labas na ha? Nasa labas na yan, naglalagay ng ganyan. Bakit ka naglalagay ng kamay sa taas, tuktok ng amo? Eh kung mahulog ang kanya ng ano, di yung bagong cutics mo nasira ka. Patay ka pa rin. Nilalagay po ito it's based on behavioral study. That in a panic situation, when you put your hand there, it prevents you from disturbing other people trying to get out. So you put there, so your hands don't like that, like that. <laughs> but to hell, I mean, nobody even understands it. Hmm. See, they're outside, they're putting their hands on their head. For what? For what? Simply lang. Next. Siyempre, train mo yung train. Paramedics, uh, bread and butter na po namin yan. Next. Siyempre, we train them early. That's, uh, this, that's Cedric. We have CNDR, ala? Yan po, siya po tinunod din ng CNDR. Nakita niyo yung dalawang clangle? We use them, next. Ano nga hanapin mo pa, ano? Pag bagyo? Siyempre, ang sagot, eh? Flashlight. Yan, yeah. pagtama, binigyan mo ng gift. Sa tindi ng ganda nitong programa ito, paulit-ulit ang hihingi sa akin pag baka birthday party. <laughs> Oo. Pinula kami ng club kasi lahat pala nasa Congress na. <laughs> Ayaw niyo mong comment. Susunod yung shit. 
Then, resources for preparedness. Warning communication. Ang, commu ang warning po hindi nagsasabi ni kailan i-community. So, may mga proseso po, papagasa, prediction for kailan, wag na, may mga magtuturo sa inyo ng totoo niyan. Next, bigyan ko lang ngayon na, next. Ito. Ito ay Doplerida. Yan po si Presidente. Nilagay, pinalagay ko sa Birak. Bigay sa akin doon ng mga hapon. Sabi ko nilagay mo sa Birak, 2 plus 2 hours additional warning time. Sabi ng mga tagdara, okay. Sabi ko doon kayo maglagay sa Guam. Ano yung silbihan sa inyo. Tuwag-tuwa pa kayo. Ito po, galing sa satellite. Pag nilang may satellite, same day lang, ang pula-pula. Gusto niya yung nervous na naman ako. Di natapos na yung mga aking mga warning-warning. Through info board, blah, blah, blah. Next. Dahil sa Doppler Rida, nakita niyo, wala, manulan sa albay. Hindi ako gumasas na kasi pinag ko na 19 million. Dahil sa Doppler Rida, eh, repeat it after me. Ilang beses kami magkakaroon ng heavy rain. So, investments in technology, I think, works. <coughs> Next. <coughs> Next. So, yan po, sa amin po, mga simple lang po ito na pwede gawin ng kahit saan para nagtitinda ng pinapay pag umaga. Lahat po, simple lang po, sabihan ni Gom na pagdating ng last kwarto, darating yung truck ni Mayor, susundin kayo para ba nila yung evacuation center. Kaya nila lang. Tapos para rin ang ano, beyond chain, may ganun lang na. <laughs> Piling-piling na lang lahat. Kasi kung di, di mo ito artehan, wala nang ano eh. Wala. Kailangan pa rin ng uh, U.S. Uh, kailangan masaya. Kahit masama na ano. Picture ba? Yung di makabukod. Next. So, the communications preferences. What? Kung nasan sila, doon kayo. Huwag yung pagpilitan kung ano gusto nyo. Asan ba sila? Nasa Facebook. Karamihan. 53% nasa Facebook. Kaya kung ano ko. Di yung mga kalokohan ko. Pero pagdating na nga, no, K-pop lang, ha? Tapos may mga kaibigan ako, ano? So, we have a family there, Apsimo, Alba PDRMC, OCD5, and then Yabikula naman, we have people who that do it for me. So, we do kind of do it. And we have uh, chats and chats, all the same thing. And then, info board, libre po to. 12,000 po nakakamit sa amin yan. Ganyan po kasi simple lang yan. Kahit nandito ko, I can text and say, oh, pinagtatawan lang ng albay dito. So, it will go to all the barangay officials. Right now. Right now. Kasi we're paying for things that we're not supposed to pay. Anyway. It should be the rich people who should pay for this. Then, Pindot. This is a better way. Ano meron ng Pindot dun sa Pogoy? is patya na i-mention. Kasi, pag nag-text ba ka sa akin na may bayan, pag-text ko sa'yo, thank you sa smart. Pag nag-text ba ka, hindi ko lang kinakita ng smart dito. <laughs> Kami nagpapasimula ng bulo. <laughs> Di ba? Pag nag-text na ako sa lahat, oh, maganda ka ito! Darating ng Diyos ah! Kasi siyempre, sino? Titititititititit niya. Ang, ang ano lang niya, ang, eh, there are how many in Albay? There are, one million cell phones in Albay. Mm -hmm. So, ilan lang yung aking 12,000? Just imagine, ha? how many times it has to be retexted. Tapos may magtatanong pa, Go, may pasok ba? <laughs> <laughs> Government official yan, ha? <laughs> Anong klase? Pangyari sa Roma. So, this one gives you the spots of the nation kasi popular po na siya pinasang ka. Actually, galing ito sa Cebu. In-export sa amin kasi hindi pa nila kailangan. Next. There, and then, go up to Nami Moy. This is the most intricate of them all. And you really need uh, something here. Because it bypasses me. It goes straight. There are only 30 minutes. Once a tsunami warning is raised in 30 minutes, it's there. And then, you decide pa si Go, magpapakyot. I-issue ako ng mga kung ano-ano. Hindi na kailangan. Hindi, hindi ko na... So, tinirain na namin lahat yung mga nandiyan sa tabi. Kung anong gagawin. Evacuation group, essentially. Ang kay dadaan. 
anong daan para mas disiplinado. Next. Next. Kasi doon niya ito sa Fukushima, nung nagpadala ng warning from the ano, warning center, yung ano, yung pa, yung boya, back, wala naman tao sa bahay. So dito, pinapasiguran na pupunta radyo at pupunta ng cellphone. Yan po yan. Next. Kaya po, ito na po yung speed ng DOH. Ewan ko ba, hindi naman yata ginagamit ng DOH. So, kami lang gumagamit. Kasi turo na turo ng mga tao dito sa national. Pag dati yung bahay, tinignan ko dun sa ano, Yolanda, na hindi ko nakita ang speed report. Asa ang matagal yung words dito? Asa ah, ang speed report? Ako meron na. Ako meron. We made it for the area where we were assigned. Ilan ang ano, ilan ang nakakasakit, ilan ang gutom, ilan ang ano, ilan ang may lagna, ilan ang ano. Trabaho namin yun eh. Next. Next. Maya mo na yan. Next. So, pag hindi mo ma-relocate, evacuate. Pag evacuate, saan? Or evacuate sa center lang po. Diyan kami sumisikat yan eh, pagkaganda-ganda. Dati, o yung mga schools, Tapos yun hindi. Yung amin ang ginagawa ng school. Now our evacuation centers are used as school. Kasi how many times a year that naman kailangan kong evacuation center? 21 days. For the rest of the 340 days, they're not used for anything. So, see, 21 days only. A year. We counted it. There's empirical evidence. How many times did I call for evacuation? 21 days. Average. Next. So, yan. Next. Yung po ang aking mga ambulansya, 70, 69 ambulances. Kasi binigyan ni Gloria ang buka ng mga governor, eh pinapagbabayad ng kalahati ayaw. Ay, binili ko lahat. <laughs> so, sayang. Value for money. Basta mayroon pa test ang PMA. Sayang. Pinapatest ko lahat. Libre. Magpapatest PNPA. Libre. May, so, may bayad pa. Ay, may tredo pa. Tino ko nung hap, di nadala ko yan dyan. Basta may libre. Nandun ako. Sayang eh. Next. Next. Next, next, next. Malapit na to. Siyempre. Yan po ang aming mga evacuation centers. Next. Next. Yan po. Nagkakaganda po. Those who have less in life have more in risk. So, nandiyan pa yung ano? Sa Jesuit. Oh, the Jesuits call it Holy Desire. <laughs> so anyway, the, the take home from a bike is it can be done. Just do it. Governor Salteda, thank you very much for the uh, detail and I should say very fast paced. Uh, presentation uh, given us the situation in Albay province. This is going to be a hard act to follow, especially um, late hour of today. But we have one more uh, session. Um, in a minute, I'll introduce to you uh, Mr. Ramon Esberto, who will be uh, leading the next uh, panel discussion. But we'll switch gears a little bit here. This will be la the last session will be a panel discussion uh, led by a moderator. Uh, I do have to highlight a couple of changes to the, to the um, panel, however. Uh, the Honorable Leonardo Javier Jr. Uh, is not going to be able to make it today. Uh, no one will Mr. Raul uh, Banias. Uh, they will send their regrets. Uh, they will be replaced on the, the panel by Professor uh, Ernest Garalau, the president of the Zulu uh, Family Foundation. So at this point, uh, I'd like to uh, invite uh, Mr. Ramon Esberto, president of the Corporate Network for Disaster Response, uh, to the podium, and uh, he will introduce the uh, panel that will conclude today's event. Thank you very much, John. Uh, this is the part of the program where you, the audience, get to participate, uh, whether you like it or not. Um, we have a panel of three speakers this afternoon for the second part of the program who will be discussing the subject from their respective perspectives. Uh, the question that we are trying to get about to focus on in this section of the program is to focus on the word that we have right here in our It's the word resilience. What do you understand by the term resilience? 
And what is the role of your respective organization in promoting the business resilience? And how do you engage with other stakeholders and actors to advance the resilience agenda? So our panelists, and I will call them up now, uh, will be discussing this subject from their respective uh, viewpoints. And I'll call them one by one, and I'll ask them please to come up forward to the stage. Uh, first, as mentioned by Mark earlier, is Mr. Uh, Professor Ernie Carinal, the president of Sweden Foundation. Ernie, can you come up on stage? Okay, I think he stepped out for a while. We move on to the other panelists, Dr. Jaime Aristotle Alif, founder and managing director of the Center for Agriculture and Rural Development of CARD. Doctor, please come on stage. Dr. Alif is the founder and managing director of CARD, mutually reinforcing institutions, a group of companies composed of a foundation, a bank, a microinsurance, and a development institute, and a business development sciences, all established to empower poor women in the countryside to help alleviate poverty in the Philippines. Our third panelist is the executive director of the Asian Disaster Preparedness Center, so a different perspective. He is based in Bangkok, Mr. Shane Wright. Mr. Shane Wright joined the AD ADPC in 2014, but prior to that, he has more than 30 years of extensive experience in prevention and mitigation of emergencies. He was the Chief Officer and Executive Director for Emergency Management at Metropol Metropolitan Fire and Emergency Services Board in Australia. Okay. So what does resilience mean to you? Oh, Ernie is here. Dr. Bell. Professor. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Can we call these speakers uh, to on stage, please? We'd like to make this uh, part of the session as interactive as possible, so you can later on throw questions not only at the discussions but also to the previous speakers. Okay. After uh, the governor's speech, I'm almost obligated to make a commentary because he mentioned the CNPR several times. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. Uh, and the reason I, I want to I want to speak about 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 it because one of the things that TNTR is now doing yeah. is we are conducting a program called Noah's Ark where we're trying to be able to bring the zero casualty kind of program disaster preparedness program to more provinces. This is a PPP endeavor, so it's a public private partnership, uh, and we're bringing this now to the province of Cebu. <coughs> Uh, and uh, here in the province of Cebu, we're working, CNDR is working together with True Life Foundation, Petron, uh, rather True Life, Petron Foundation, and SMART. Uh, and working not only with the local government, but also working with the Archdiocese of Cebu to put together a disaster preparedness plan for the province of Cebu. Uh, what is our objective? A uh, simple one, a uh, simple but audacious one. Uh, can you imagine if we had? Ten more albis in the country. Well, yeah, we, we need ten more joys. Um, or twenty more albis, twenty more local centers of excellence in disaster resilience. Would the Philippines be a better place? And that's that's the kind that's the vision we're trying to. We are getting a lot of technical assistance from Joe, Governor Joey's team, particularly Dr. Cedric Dai, whom we have to borrow from you quite a bit. In fact, uh, next week we're sending, he's going to Bohol, because Governor Chato also wants something like this. Okay, that's our view of resilience at CNBR. Now we'd like to hear what our discussants would like to say in terms of what they think resilience should stand for in different fields. Such as health, such as uh, such as financing for for poor families and for emergency planning. What what is resilience? So let's start off with our first discussion. Can I call to this uh, Dr. Professor Ernie Barilanti? 
give his presentation. We have 10 minutes for each of the discussants presentation. Ambassador Romulo, my colleagues in the panel, friends, good afternoon. Nakakanel plus kasi 10 minutes lang eh. Um, the Zuli Family Foundation uh, started off as a corporate foundation in 1997 and later on we became a family foundation in 2008 uh, primarily with focus on improving health outcomes of the poor especially in rural areas so you can see that the that is really it's, uh, bias is really working with local governments, uh, especially mayors and municipal health officers uh, in health. And essentially, uh, it has a change uh, framework, change model, that says that if you want to have better health outcomes, uh, meaning lower MMR, lower IMR, lower malnutrition rates, uh, you really have to have an improved and more responsive health system and targeted and pro-poor health program. And uh, this will only happen, in fact, if you have uh, good local health leadership and governance. And I think uh, Governor Salced uh, shows that. Uh, with good uh, leadership and governance, you are able to transform the system and come up with better outcomes. The uh, intervention here, basically, uh, is that you come up with a uh, modular training for mayors and municipal office, uh, health officers. Uh, there is a um, leadership approach uh, attached to that, uh, wherein they go through training and practicum. And when it comes to practicum, they really have to address the six building blocks of the WHO, meaning improved service delivery, health workforce, access to medicines, financing and etc. Uh, this really present essentially is in high in regions with high health burdens. And if you can see uh, at the left side uh, you really have the uh, Eastern Visayas. Uh, the chart at the right hand side gives you the experience of the foundation. Uh, uh, essentially what it says is that if you have good committed leaders you have a good intervention, they have access to uh, services and facilities, you will be able to bring down maternal mortality to around 50s within a period of two years. And the target of the, uh, of the, uh, the, target of the uh, uh, Philippine government really is uh, 52 by uh, 2015. And when you take a look at uh, the lower ones, at uh, 50, uh, what it really just says is that uh, the, you might bring it down to the 50s, but around the 50s you see a plateau because the ones who die now in terms of the mothers are those who are very poor, very far away, and does not have the res do not have the resources to go to the RHC. Uh, why, why summer? And I think the, uh, uh, why uh, mothers and infants in summer, especially uh, in the light of Yolanda? Because they are at higher risk in post-disaster situations. Uh, Eastern Visayas is the third poorest region. Poverty incidence in Eastern Samar is 60%, which means around 270,000 of the 450,000 inhabitants. And without interventions, when you have a post-disaster, you can expect that maternal mortality, infant mortality, malnutrition is really going to go up because of the rise in poverty. Uh, in summer, we were in around 29 province, uh, municipalities uh, by 2013. And of course, when Yolanda came in, uh, municipalities prepared for the typhoon. But it was, uh, to categorize it, uh, business as usual. You, you activate the Municipal Disaster and Risk Reduction Management Council, you preposition relief goods and services, information campaign, and evacuation to safe areas. For instance, they evacuated to uh, Coliseum in Tacloban, which was a safe area, and, and you see a lot of them there. 
Uh, I think you're familiar with this. Uh, this is where the five for nine came in. And 12 uh, partner municipalities were affected by the typhoon in southern summer. Uh, from Balangkayan in eastern summer, all the way to Lawaan, Pasay, and Marangas. Uh, it's interesting 